सदाशिव समारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय कर्णाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बाधरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मीति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्यापतिदेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहना सहन सह वीर करवाहे तेजस्वीतमस्तुमाशावे ओं शांचाशाशाचि यो ब्रह्मण विदातिपुर वेदाग्च प्रहिणोति तस्म तकुं हदा शुरुवै शरण हम प्रपद्ये ओं शांचाशाशाचि कामनायांतिक संसिद्ध आदिमत्यांतवर्जित आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे दी नेक्स्ट अधिकरण इन दि फोर्थ पाद ऑफ दि फस्ट अध्याय इज संख्योपसंग्रहादिकरण इट इज इंट्रोड्यूस बै सी पूर्व आध्यात्मिकाधिकारे पूर्व आध्यात्मिकाधिकारे प्रसिद्ध छाग ग्रहण अयोगा अजा तेज आदि का इन दि अर्लियर अधिकरण दि अजा शब्द वॉज री इंटरप्रिटेड इन दि अध्यात्म आध्यात्मिक अधिकार इट इज अन कांड सो देर इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ ज्ञान कांड शुद्ध ज्ञान कांड अजा शब्द having rudhi artha of chaga the goat was inapplicable there in the context therefore the aja shabda was taken to be what teja adika tejas jala and prithvi that was the meaning of the aja shabda meaning the aja shabda was seen to be mula prakriti or prakriti which is dependent on ishvara फॉर सत्ता स्पूर्ण इत्यादि एंड इट इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट विच आर सीन इन दि प्रपंच ऑलसो देर फोर यू कैन लैंड ऑन दि एक कारण इन अ प्रक्रिया थ्रू अ पर्टिक्युलर प्रक्रिया यू कैन लैंड ऑन अ सिंगल कारण फॉर द एंटायर प्रपंच वॉट एवर कलर्स यू सी इन दि प्रपंच in the prapancha vastus those can be reversed into cognitively reversed into the three basic colors and three basic karanas which is basically one that is dependent on ishwara ishwara or brahma so it is basically ishwara who is jagat karana this is the prakriya given so puron adhyatmika adhikare प्रसिद्ध छाग ग्रहण अयोगा द अजा शब्द इफ इट इज टेकन एज गोट देन द मीनिंग वोंट फिट इन दि कॉन्टेक्स्ट एट ऑल ऑल दो इट वॉज शोन एज इवन इफ यू टेक द मीनिंग एज अजा थ्रू दि कल्पना यू हैव टू लैंड ऑन दिस प्रकृति विच इज योग्य फॉर भोग एंड त्याग जस्ट लाइक एन अजा इज योग्य फॉर भोग एंड त्याग सिमिलरली देर फॉर दि प्रसिद्ध अजा शब्द ऑल्सो शुड बी ड्रॉप्ड इवन इफ यू टेक इट एंड थ्रू लक्षण यू लैंड ऑन दि तेजादि का प्रकृति उक्त तथा यस्मिन पंच पंच जना नो सिमिलरली देर इज अ बृहद मंत्र एस टू यस्मिन पंच पंच जना आकाश प्रतिष्ठित तमे मन आत्मा विद्वान् ब्रह्मा मृतो मृत so there is a brahad mantra in the fourth adhyaya fourth pada so there pancha pancha janaha the jana jana shabda has a rudi artha of the people of the world and that meaning is not applicable there so prasiddha jana shabda which is what jana shabda is prasiddha in loka people so that prasiddha meaning should be dropped and which aprasiddha meaning should you take 
दे तो पूर्व पक्षी से तथा यस्मिन पंच पंच जना इन विच देर आर दिस पंच पंच जना पंच पंच मीनिंग फाइव इच वॉट इज फाइव इच सो फाइव इंटू फाइव इज ट्वेंटी फाइव देर फोर दि सांख्या पूर्व पक्ष से दैट दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट इन विच देर आर ट्वेंटी फाइव कॉम्पोनेट्स और प्रिंसिपल्स विच इज बेसिकली सांख्य तत्व प्रधान इति मंत्रे पंचजन शब्द प्रसिद्ध मनुष्य ग्रहण अयोग आदि मनुष्य शब्द लोक और जन दैट मीनिंग दीज आर सिनोनिम्स वेरी प्रसिद्ध इन दि लोक इन दि वर्ल्ड सो दैट मीनिंग इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल देर सो विच मीनिंग शुड यू टेक यू शुड ड्रॉप दि प्रसिद्ध मनुष्य मीनिंग फॉर दि जन शब्द सो ग्रहण अयोग इट इज नॉट फिट टू बी टेकन इन दि कॉन्टेक्स देर फोर सांख्या अभिमत what is considered in sankhya is appropriate that meaning should be taken what is that pancha yamshati tattva the 25 principles and that should be grasped by the word pancha pancha janaha so 25 principles are in which so that is basically what that 25 principles is the sankhya abhimata pancha yamshati tattva starting with बेसिकली पुरुष एंड देन स्टार्टिंग विथ प्रकृति और प्रधान इति दृष्टांत संगत सो तथा यस्मिन पंच पंच जना मंत्रे इन दैट बृहद मंत्र पंचजन शब्द थ्रू दि पंचजन शब्द व्हाट शुड बी टेकन दि प्रसिद्ध शब्द इज मनुष्य विच इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल देर प्रसिद्ध मनुष्य ग्रहण अयोग सिंस इट इज अनफिट टू बी टेकन ग्रहण ग्रास लिटरली बट टू बी टेकन सो वॉट शुड यू टेक सांख्य अभिमत पंच विंशति तत्व ग्रहणमस्तु दृष्टांत संगत दिस इज दि एक्सापल गिवेन सिमिलर टू वॉट यू हेव यूज वी आर ऑलसो गोइंग टू डू दिस मीमांसा यूजिंग अप्रसिद्ध मीनिंग एंड पंच पंच हेज टू मीन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव इज समथिंग दैट इज प्रसिद्ध इन सांख्य शास्त्र इट मे बी अप्रसिद्ध इन दि लोक बट इन इन सांख्य शास्त्र इट इज नोन सो दैट इज वॉट इज डिस्कस्ड इन दि श्रुति ऑलसो से दि पूर्व पक्षी एंड देर बाय संख्योपसंग्रह अधिकरण द सूत्र से न संख्योपसंग्रहादी नाना भावादतिरेका च न संख्योपसंग्रहादी नाना भावादतिरेका च सो यू टू रीड अ कॉमा आफ्टर न इफ दैट इज दि पूर्व पक्ष देन न दि संख्य उपसंग्रहादी इफ एट ऑल देर इज अ काउंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट यू कैन लैंड ऑन विथ पंच पंच स्टील फर्स्ट द पदच्छेद न संख्य संख्योपसंग्रहाद अभी नाना भाव अतिरेका च so if at all you land on the 25 principles by saying pancha pancha means 25 and 25 principles are seen in in uh, uh, sankhya sankhya shastra still what api it cannot be your sankhya 25 principles even if you count 25 those are not the 25 pancha yamshati tattvas of sankhyas why nana bhavad because nana bhava is there this 25 that you have <coughs> meaning nana abhava what is nana abhava the 25 principles that you talk about how do you differentiate one from the other how is prakriti differentiated from vikruti how is vikruti differentiated from prakruti how is prakruti vikruti differentiated from the prakruti and vikruti so if you and again within the within the vikruti and prakruti vikruti meaning those which are karyas and those which are karyas as well as karanas still there is a difference between all of these so those which are shuddha karanas those which are shuddha karyas those which are karya as well as karanas among them also there is a division so how do you 
make a differentiation between them. Meaning, in the 25 principles, what are there? So, just a background of Sankhya's. Mula Prakriti is Avikruti. It is Prakriti, meaning it is Karana, but it is Avikruti, it is not Karya. That is Mula Prakriti, which they call as Pradhana. That is one Tattva. Then Mahat, starting with Mahat, Mahat Adhyaha. So, there is Mahat and then uh, Mahat and then they will have uh, the Panchatanmatras. And then Ekadasha Indriyas. So, all of these um, put together. So, basically, Mahadadhyaha Prakriti Vikrutaha Sapta. There are seven Prakriti Vikrutis, which are also Prakriti meaning Karana and also Karyas because they are all Mahadadi are Karyas of Mula Prakriti. Pradhana. So, there are seven of those which are also Karana for the others. Then there are sixteen which are only Vikaras. Shodakastu uh, Vikaraha. Shodakastu Vikaraha. So, they are only Vikaras. They are not, meaning they are Vikruti. They are not Prakriti. They are only Karyas. They are not Karanas. So, you have one Mula Prakriti Pradhana plus seven Prakriti Vikruti which are total into 8 and then 16 are only karyas. So, 16 plus 8 you have 24. The 25th is the Purusha who is neither Prakriti nor Vikruti. So, na Prakriti na Vikruti hi Purusha. So, thereby you have 25. Now, the Puropakshi Sankhya claiming that this Pancha Pancha means 25 therefore Sankhya Upasangraha is there. There is a count, there is landing on this 25 count which is giving a Pratyavidya of Sankhya as to this 25 means that 25. So thereby Siddhanti has to show how it is not your 25 meaning not the Sankhya Gata Panjayunshati Tattvas. So, Siddhanti asked the Puro Pakshi, are there differences between these individually, between each of these 25 with the other 24, is there a difference? At least one difference? Or they have overlap? So, there should be some difference because of which you are categorizing them as not only as Prakriti, Vikriti and Prakriti Vikriti, but also among them you are making division. So, that difference, that kind of a difference is not seen here. So, that Nana Tum that you have, 25 which are Nana, very much different from each other, with whatever you differentiate with, those characteristics are not seen here to differentiate these Pancha Pancha discussed here. So, Nana Bhava, we will see more in the uh, Tika there, uh, the Vritti. But Nana Bhava, because of Nana Abhava. Then, <clears throat> just give me a moment, please. <clears throat> so, what is being said is that the Dharma, Dharma which is differentiating, those Dharmas are not there. Meaning, uh, the earlier way we have seen, in the earlier uh, uh, Adhikarnas and Sutras, we have seen that Although we take the meaning as Prakriti, it is not the Mula Prakriti of the Sankhyas. So, we will say Maya, if at all the Puro Pakshi agrees that this Maya is the same as our Pradhana and thereby gives up his Siddhanta and says that it has a dependent existence on Ishwara, then we do not have an issue. But he won't do that because it is like giving up the entire philosophical school of thought. Therefore, this Maya and Pradhana should be differentiated. Similarly here, if at all there is something common also between these 25 and what Sankhyas talk about these 25 Tattvas, still the Dharmas that you see which differentiate the 25 Tattvas from each other, those Dharmas are not there in these 25 which are mentioned. If at all there are 25. That is also to be contested. 
सो नाना भावात देन देर इज अनदर हेतु च एंड ऑल्सो वॉट अतिरेका च अतिरेका च मीन्स नॉट ओनली आर दी ट्वेंटी फाइव डिस्कस हियर इन दिस मंत्र यस्मिन पंच पंच जन आर मेन्शन बट इफ यू गो लिटिल फर्दर इन द सेम उपनिषद सेक्शन देन दी बृहत ऑल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट अदर टू सो दीज आर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड अदर टू सो इफ यू इंक्लूड दोज ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू कैनॉट सी यू विल लिमिट दी काउंट ओनली टू वन मंत्रा और वन वाक्या ऑफ दी बृहद उपनिषद and give up the other two which are discussed later so the other two which are discussed are also included if at all they are included then what will happen the count will overshoot from 25 to 27 do you have 27 tatvas you do not therefore atirekach the count will overshoot from the sankhyas count therefore it is not those 25 principles at all so that is the sutra artha अत्र फल पूर्ववत द्रष्टव्य सेम फला मीनिंग समन्वय असिद्धि एज पर दूर्व पक्षी सांख्या इन ब्रह्म एंड समन्वय सिद्धि एज पर दि वेदाति इन ब्रह्म बृहदारण्य के श्रूयते इन बृहद उपनिषद वॉट इज हर्ड यस्मिन पंच पंच जन आकाशच प्रतिष्ठि इन विच दीज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड आकाश इज ऑलसो प्रेजेंट इत्यादि तत्र तत्र पंचजनशब्देन मूल प्रकृत्यादीन पंचविशति तत्व उच्य आर दीज दि सेम एज डिस्कस इन दि सांख्यशास्त्र दोस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव स्टार्टिंग विथ मूल प्रकृति उत वाक्यशेषगत प्राणादय से संशय और वॉट इज कवर्ड लेटर इन दि बृहदारण्यक उपनिषद इट्स इन दि अदर वाक्या पंच पंच जन वेन इट इज डिस्कस देन आर दे प्राणादय प्राण इत्यादि सो प्राण इज ऑल्सो टॉक्ड अबाउट वेर एज इन सांख्यशास्त्र देर इज नो डिस्कशन ऑफ प्राण एट ऑल दे टॉक अबाउट एकादश इंद्रियाज एकादश इंद्रियाज आर फाइव कर्मेन्द्रियाज फाइव ज्ञानेन्द्रियाज विच वी एग्री विथ वी सीन तत्वबोध इत्यादि and the 11th is the antakkarana which we agree in one way and disagree in another way so in uh, vedanta paribhasha ityadi you will see that the uh, antakkarana as indriya is refuted in one part of the vedanta paribhasha in the initial part the puropakshi says that antakkarana is indriya and then the siddhanti refutes it saying that antakaran is not an indriya so geeta is quoted in support and geeta is reinterpreted to refute also so as you go through further in vedanta paribhasha this siddhanti himself introduces antakarana as an indriya so there is an apparent contradiction prima facie there is a contradiction you siddhanti who has refuted the antakarana as indriya when i claimed it says the nayayika how do you reclaim it as reintroduce from your siddhanta as indriya how do you in, in, reintroduce this antakarana as indriya so there what has to be understood is that when the tarkika is saying that antakarana is an indriya then it is an indriya as defined by tarkika that is the claim which was refuted we do not agree with antakarana being an indriya the way tarkika defines indriyas but antakarana is definitely an indriya because it is karana and it is internal antaha 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 sat karanam antakaranam so that antakarana is indriya but it is not the indriya the way the tarkika gives the lakshana so it is reintroduced but it is introduced as an indriya 
as defined by a Vedanti. Similarly, in the earlier Adhikaranas of Brahma Sutra also, Prakriti word is used. And we agree with Prakriti being the meaning of Avyakta Shabda, but not the Prakriti as defined by the Sankhya Purva Bhakshi. We agree that it is Prakriti, but it is not Prakriti meaning the Pradhana as defined, which is independent from Purusha, but dependent on Purusha, we agree. So it is Prakriti all right, but not the way Sankhya defines it. So there is a refutation which is very specific. That is why a lot of things in uh, Upanishads can be confusing and that is the reason it has to be studied in Sampradaya. Otherwise, there are a lot of apparent contradictions. Even in Smriti, Bhagavan Krishna will make a lot of uh, apparent contradictory statements so which have to be seen and understood in the light of Bhashya. So, when Pranas are discussed, Indriyas are discussed in the Sankhya, Pancha, Vimshati, Tattvas. But Pranas are not discussed. So, we say that Pranas are talked about, Indriyas are talked about in your Grantha, but Pranas are not talked about. So, Vakya Shesha Katha Pranadaya the prana ityadi, what are those? Pranaha, chakshu, shrotram, annam, manaha. So the sankhyas have to say that chakshu, shrotra, manaha, these are all covered in indriyas because we have ekadasha indriyas. So now we will ask out of this pranadaya pancha, which are going to follow in the vakya shesha. In Grihad Upanishad itself, Pranadaya Panchar, Pranaha, Chakshu, Shrotram, Anna and Manaha. There, Chakshu, Shrotras are Indriyas, therefore they are covered. Manaha is Indriya, therefore it is also covered in Sankhya Shastra. But what about Pranaha and Anna? Prana and Anna which are discussed in the Vakya Shesha of the Brihad Vakya that has been quoted by saying Pancha Pancha Janaha. There these pranaha and anna are not, so I mean there the pranaha and anna shabda which are talked about, they are not covered in the Sankhya Shastra. Therefore you will have two more. Uta Vakya Sheshagata Pranadehiti Samshe Tattvani Iti Puro Paksha. So this is looking ahead and giving meaning of this to this Atirekach also, Atirekacha. But here, which is the Paksha? That is shown. So, Panchayam Shati Tattvani or Vakya Sheshagata Pranadayati Samshe Tattvani Iti Puro Pakshaha. So, the 25 principles are talked about, say, the Sankhya Siddhantastu Asmin Mantra Shruya Manaya. Uh, the Siddhanti says that what are heard in this mantra, Asmin Mantra Shruya Manaya, Panchayam Shati Sankhya. Not Shruna Manaya, Shruna Manaya, sorry, it's Tritya. So Asmin Mantri, Shruya Manaya, Panchayam Shati Sankhya, through the Sankhya which is heard as 25, Panchayam Shati Sankhya which is heard in this mantra, Brahad Mantra, Smriti Siddha Panchayam Shati Tattvanam Upasangradapi. Although the, there is an Upasangra, there is a collection of those 25 which are discussed in the Smriti, Sankhya Smriti. So, Smriti Siddha, which is established in the Sankhya Smriti, is of Pancha Yushati Tattva. So, Tesham Tattva Naam Upasangrad Api, although such collection is also seen, can be seen, rather, Na Pradhana Se Shabdavattvam, still this Pradhana is not included there and you cannot claim Pradhana is having Shabda Pramana. You cannot claim that. Because by Quoting this mantra, what Puro Pakshi is saying, these 25 principles are common. So he is going to push in Pradhana also in all those 25. Kutaha, why is it not so? Why is it not the same 25 principles? Kutaha, Nana Bhavad. Nana Bhavad means 
तेषां पंचानां पंचकानां एक पंचक पर्याप्त अन्य पंचक व्यावृत्त धर्मवत्वा भावेन नानात्वात् सो नाना भावात इज नाना भाव ऑल्सो अभाव ऑल्सो आई टू केट एज नाना अभाव बट नाना भाव कॅन ऑल्सो बी सीन हिअर नाना भाव इज एक्सप्लेन एज टू द डिफरेन्शिएटिंग फॅक्टर्स आर सम धर्मास सो दोज धर्मास आर देअर दोज नाना धर्मास आर देअर द वे दे आर देअर इन युअर केस देर आर नानास इन दीज ऑल्सो and they are different so nanatva bhava is there in the mantra siddha pancha pancha and nana bhava is there in your case also in the pancha vimshati tattvas but do dharmas are not common so abhava is also there so tesham panchanam panchakanam this five and the group of five when you create such groupings then eka panchaka paryapta anya panchaka vyavrutta so there is abhav also so in one panchaka there is something which is sufficient dharma and anya panchaka vyavrutta they are not there in the other panchakas so such dharmatva abhavena there is abhav therefore nanatva nanatva is there because nanatva means what compared to you you are 25 there is nanatva of these because dharmas are different so dharmas being different there is manyness because of abhav of differentiating factors such dharmas these dharmas are different and dharmas are nana nana tyo api and even if there is if you claim that oh there is also possibility of such nanatva in our case nana tyo api kathanchit panchayamshati sankhyangi kare badaka antaram ah so nana tyo means what you need not land on these 25 exact 25 there will be more also so kathanchit somehow you land on these 25 and they and then claim that oh this 25 count is same therefore it is the same 25 that we talk about so nanatvya api kathanchit panchayamshati sankhyangi kare if at all you say oh, some dharmas have been discussed as different from each other and they are not the same as ours but then the components are same the principles are same if at all you land on the 25 then what will happen panchayamshati sankhya angikare api what will happen badaka antaram ah there is another obstacle to claim that this pradhana is included or these are the same 25 atireka cha we'll transgress the number asmin mantre shruyamanayoho atmakashayo ho akashascha pratishtitah this akasha and then akasha and atma two are talked about atma akasha panchayamshati tattva atiriktatvat saptayamshati tattva prapto apasiddhanta patah so we'll overshoot over uh, we'll overshoot the number sorry i included prana and anna there but prana and anna is shown as different from their 25 so that is going to come up in the next sutra i jump the gun there so here what is going to which are the two which are going to overshoot atma and akasha atma and akasha if you add then you will get 27 so what exactly was added i made a mistake there i'm sorry about that so uh, but the pancha vimshati pranadaya this will be question into what are these pancha pancha then which are those five so then that will be this five will be counted in the next next sutra so there chakshu shrutra and manaha is there in the pancha vimshati tattvas of the sankhya but prana and anna are not there so that kind of comparison is also there but it is in the next sutra here in this sutra the atireka is shown so nana bhavad means the nanatvam can be shown by pranah anna ityadi also being there but then if at all you still land on 25 what will happen atma and akasha are also there so atma akasha panchayamshati tattva atirikta tvat 
Now this Atma can also be claimed as Purusha by Puro Pakshi. Still Akasha will be left out. Atireka will be there. So Panchayamshati Tattva Atirik Tattva Saptayamshati Tattva Prapto Apasiddhanta Pataha. Now this Akasha can also be claimed to be in the Panchatan Matras. But if he says that okay, Akasha and Atma are also included in our case in the 25, still what will happen? These are separate from the Pancha Pancha. Then Atma and Akasha are included. Akasha is included as Panchatan Matras and Atma is included as Purusha if at all. The Purva Pakshi is to claim. Then what about this other 25? Then some two are missing in your case. In those 25 plus these two, Atma Akasha is separate from this 25. So if you say these are 25 and Atma and Akasha are included, then in those 25, some two are additional. So thereby, this Prana, Anna will also come in. So what is counted as additional from these 25 are these Atma and Akasha. So when I say Prana and Anna, they are not seen separately, but they are included in the Pancha Pancha. And in Pancha Pancha, Prana and Anna, Pancha Pancha of what? Pancha Yumshati of the Sankhyas, the Prana and Anna is not included. But what is included is separate in the Vakya Shesha, which is that Vakya Shesha, Atma and Akasha. Vakya Shesha of what? Of Pancha Pancha Jana. So, other than Pancha Pancha Jana Shabda, if at all this is interpreted as 25, then Akasha and Atma, which is talked about, those two are extra. And those two are already included in the 25 of the Sankhya. So what are these two additional, if at all the others are same, what are the two additional in the Pancha Pancha Jana? Those can be Prana and Anna. Therefore, Prana and Anna are additional in the Brihad Mantra, which is not there in the Sankhya Sattva. So I hope you get the idea. It is not confusing. Basically, the idea is that Whatever Sankhyas talk about, they are not discussed in Brihad Upanishad. Therefore, Pradhana is Ashabda. This claim of the Siddhanti will stand good. So, that's the basic idea there. Just give me a moment. Uh, some noise I hear. Okay. Yeah. So, Siddhanta, Siddhanta, uh, Apa Siddhanta, Apata. There will be a dosha, if at all the Siddhan, Siddhanti were to be told by the Purva Pakshi that yes, these are our own 25, Sankhya's 25, then there will be Siddhanta Apata, uh, uh, Apasiddhanta Apata, they will fall in Apasiddhanta category. Why? Because they will have made a claim of 25, whereas Brihad talks about 27. Tasmat Natra Pradhanadi. Tattva Grahana Muchitam. Therefore, this Pradhanadi Tattva's 25 ending with Purusha as neither Prakriti nor Vrakriti is not Yogya. Nanute Panchatu Sankhya Kaha Panchajanaha K. Idi Apekshaya Maha. Okay, they are not. If at all you Siddhanti is right in interpreting this Pancha Pancha as not the Sankhya's 25 principles, then please tell us what are these 20, uh, what are these Pancha, Panchatva, this Panchatva which is talked about, which are these 5 really, Pancha Pancha Janaha need not mean 25, just because there is a Vipsa Pancha Pancha, when you say Pancha Pancha, just because it is twice you need not multiply, it can be added also. Pancha Pancha, when you say 5 and 5 or can be 10 also, you went ahead and multiplied it as Pancha Pancha as 25. And it need not be 25 or 10, it can be only 5 also. Why? Just weeps up. Pancha Pancha has been mentioned twice. Oh, these 5, 5, these 5, these 5. It can be any of such counts. It can be 5, 10, 25. It has to be interpreted as a context. So, Nanute Panchatva Sankhya Kaha Panchajanaha Keti Apekshaya Maha. 
so there is no 25 27 10 such kind of account what has gone on there is pranadeva vakya shesha pranadeva vakya shesha if you look at the vakya shesha there is a five count ಪ್ರಾಣೇವ ಆದಿರ್ ಯಾಂ ಸು ಪ್ರಾಣಾದಯ ಇಂದಿ ಸೂತ್ರ ಪದಕ್ಷೇಧ ಪ್ರಾಣಾದಯ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ವಾಕ್ಯಶೇಷ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ವಾಕ್ಯಶೇಷ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬೃಹತ್ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಕೋಟೆಡ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಕೋಟೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಶೋಡ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಬೈ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈಂಗ್ then in your 25 prana and manaha are uh, prana and anna are not there so there will be a 27 count there will be atireka just because we refuted by saying that it the count will go to 27 we didn't mean that the count is 27 we are just saying that if you count 25 then you have to count 27 because there are two which are missing in your case and they are in clearly seen in the vakya shesha ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಣೇವ ಆದಿರ್ ಯಾಂ ಯಾಂ ಕೇಶಾಂ ಪ್ರಾಣಚಕ್ಷು ಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಅನ್ನ ಮನಸಾಂ ತೇ ಪ್ರಾಣಾದಯ ಯು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ದಟ್ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಚಕ್ಷು ಶ್ರೋತ್ರ ಅನ್ನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮನ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪಂಚ ಪಂಚ ಆರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪಂಚ ಪಂಚ ಜನ ಯಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಪಂಚ ಪಂಚ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡೆಡ್ in the srishti you see prana chakshu shrotra anna and manaha multiple times therefore pancha pancha vipsa is there only these five these five will keep on recurring everywhere such kind of a thought is there such kind of a teaching is there such kind of a revelation is there which may be known pratyaksha if you analyze you already know this you know prana objectifiable chakshu shrotra anna manaha so what is revealed by the shastra is it is there in atma yasmin so praneva adi yesham prana chakshu shrotra anna manasam prana ha chakshur indriya the vision shrotra the organ of hearing anna and manas and these can be upalakshana need not be only five these are these can be upalakshana also they talk about so many things now upalakshana cannot be taken to 25 and limited to 25 or it cannot be taken to all 25 also it can be have a limitation also so these are all not the tatpare vishaya the tatpare vishaya is the atma paramatma there so shruti uses lot of words which are indicative of others also but it is that is not the tatpare vishaya because these words will keep on changing across vakyas across shrutis what is important to see is yasmin otam protam elsewhere where all these come together where all these have support in where they come from where they gain their satta and spurti to sustain themselves during the sthiti avastha and where they have their laya that is the tatpare vishaya really siddhanti is not saying all that but this is something that we have to understand as to that tatpare vishaya is the focus therefore whatever is discussed other than this this, this count can vary whether it is 5 or 10 or it is only shrotra indriya or only uh, you know chakshur indriya or they stand for others also all these are upalakshana also but they are all for mithya that is not the tatpare vishaya at all therefore whoever claims as this is the same shastra as ours our darshana it will all be set aside because the only vishaya there is atma which is not the vishaya for any other darshanika why because all they are focused on is the prapancha srishta prapancha and then they are landing through logic on something missing the vision of the shastras so praneva adiryesham prana shakshu shrotranna manasam te pranadeyah pancha jana shabdena uchyante they are meant by these pancha jana shabda pancha pancha jana means that pancha jana only multiple times it is mentioned uh, twice it is mentioned that veepsa repetition is to show that there is a recurrence of these 
so pancha pancha will keep on occurring elsewhere wherever you see you set, see these sets tasmat why so how do you interpret this pancha jana as pranadaya siddhanti says vakya sheshat because that that same brahad section talks about these five pranasya pranamut chakshu sha chakshu ityadi vakya shesha tattvaadi ityartha vakya shesha tattvaat वाक्यशेषस्थ वाक्यशेषे तिष्ठती वाक्यशेषस्थ और दीज फाइव कैन बी प्राणादय इफ यू टेक देन प्राणादय वाक्यशेषस्था इन बहुवचन सो देन यू से वाक्यशेषे तिष्ठती वाक्यशेषस्था के ते प्राणादय तेषां भाव वाक्यशेषस्तव तस्मा वाक्यशेषस्तवाथ सो दैट इज देतौपंचमी बिकॉज ऑफ दिस प्राणादय बीइंग देर इन दि अदर वाक्य बीइंग प्रेजेंट इन दि अदर वाक्य देर फोर दैट बिकम्स दि हेतु फॉर पंचजना टू मीन दीज प्राण आदि पंच and what is that vakya shesha pranasya pranam uta chakshusha chakshuhu in dvitiya in dvitiya it is shown because the vakya shesha will be more no it is to be so so therefore the object is so there this mantra following mantra shows the five इत्यादि वाक्यशेषस्तवाइर्थ ननु अस्तु मध्यम दिना प्राणादिषु अन्न से आमना पंचसख्या काण्वा तदनमान कथम पंचसख्या तो पूर्व पक्षी से जो कि यू हैव लुक्ड इन टू वाक्यशेष बृहद बट हैव यू सीन दी अदर पाठ पाठ भेद बिकॉज इन बृहद इन दी शुक्ल यजुर्वेद बृहदारण्य का ऑकर्ज इन शुक्ल यजुर्वेद सो शुक्ल यजुर्वेद हेज मध्यम दिन शाखा ऑल्सो एंड हेज काण्व शाखा ऑल्सो सो दी मध्यम दिन टॉक अबाउट मध्यम दिन शाखा दैट हेज प्राणादि पंच सो यू आर राइट देर आई कैन Agree with you, says the Puro Pakshi. In the Mandhyan Dina Shaka, it is the meaning. Hypothetically, if I agree that you are right that these are the five, then it is only true in Mandhyan Dina Shaka. But if you look at the Kanwa Shaka, these five that you talk about, they are not there. So what will you do then? If the Kanwa Shaka has no such reading, then your interpretation that I have taken as hypothetically right. will fall apart hypothesis is what i accept pending investigation and i have investigated now with kanva shaka therefore your madhyam dina shaka interpretation being limited falls apart by analyzing kanva shaka therefore your interpretation is wrong it is not right for madhyam dina shaka also so you have to come back to my claim this is the puro paksha or you have to analyze something else you have refuted me but you are also not right so give up this pranadi pancha as the meaning give me some other meaning says the puro pakshi so nanu madhyam dinana pranadishu annasya amnanat anna is included in the prana prana pranadi five in madhyam dina shaka but this anna word is not there in the pranadi five in the kanva shaka kanva nam tu tad anannana tad anannana means anna annasya anam tad is anna so tad anannana meaning this is not chanted there what is not chanted anna is not chanted in the five katham pancha sankhya then there is there are only four in the kanva shaka but five in madhyam dina shaka therefore pancha pancha cannot mean five in one shaka and four in another shaka of the same shukla yajurvedin the same brahad mantra ityata ah therefore the next sutra ज्योतिषकेशा असत्यने 
ज्योतिषकेशाम असत्यन्ने ज्योतिषा एकेशाम असति अन्ने अन्ने असति सति सप्तमी बट विथ अ नंज सो वेन यू से अन्ने सति सिमिलरली अन्य असति इज वेन अन्ना इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड अन्य सति विल मीन सति सप्तमी एज वेन अन्ना इज इंक्लूडेड बट हाउ डू यू से वेन अन्ना इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड विथ सति सप्तमी अन्य असति वेन अन्ना इज मिसिंग इन दि काड़व शाखा इन दिस फाइव वॉट इज देयर ज्योतिष शब्द इज देयर एकेशाम एकेशाम मीन्स काड़वाना इन दी काड़व शाखा फॉर दि काड़व शाखा फॉलोअर्स अन्ना इज नॉट देयर बट ज्योतिष इज देयर शब्द सो दैट विल फील दी फाइव सो फोर अदर्स विच आर कॉमन अक्रॉस काड़व एंड मध्यम दिन शाखा वन शाखा हेज अन्ना टू मेकअप दि फाइव द अदर शाखा हेज ज्योतिष दैट्स वाई इट इज ऑल ऑल मिथ्या ऑल इंक्लूडेड जस्ट टू शो अ काउंट वी आर शोइंग बट देन ऑल दीज आर नॉट दी तात्पर्य विषय They are upalakshana for everything. Everything that you can objectify, all that is basically established siddha only due to atma. That is the tatpare vishya really. Eke sham kanva nam asati anne tad deva jyoti sham jyoti hi ityadi purvam vakyast jyoti sha panchatvam puraniyam. So the vakya shesha need not be only what follows. Vakya shesha means other than this. What is Other than this vakya, which is discussed as pancha pancha jana, huh? that vakya shesha could have gone by earlier also. So you have to bring jyotish shabda from the earlier. Tad deva ha jyotisham jyotihi. So jyotisham jyotihi, just like what pranasya pranam uta chakshu shas chakshu. So jyotisham jyotihi is also prathama with shasti. This is this atma is jyoti of jyoti is also all jyotis. Prana of all pranas, chakshu of all chakshus. Just like in Kena Upanishad, also you have this chakshu shas chakshu hu shrotras se shrotram ityadi. So similar is this mantra. That is Atma. That is Paramatma. Satchidananda Atma. Ityadi purvam vakyasth jyotisha. Through the word jyotish in the earlier vakya, present in the vakyasth vakya tishtati. Which is there in the earlier vakya? That jyotish shabda. Through that jyotish shabda, you have to complete this panchatvam. So the four will be completed into a set of five by adding jyotish shabda. Atah pradhanam ashabda miti siddham. Finally, Purv Siddhanti is saying that whatever you do, how much ever you dance around Shruti, you will be around the Shruti. You will never be in the Shruti unless you give up your Siddhanta, which is apa Siddhanta. You will have to finally give up your siddhanta and say that pradhanam ashabdam. What we have shown earlier, that will still stand. Pradhana does not have shruti pramana at all. This is the sutra artha and vritti. The adhikarana is over. The next adhikarana is karanatva adhikarana. Now this karanatva and this is the uh, last adhikarana, I think. Uh, not the last adhikarana, but Coming to a close, uh, not a closure, but then uh, the complete adhyaya is being looked into now. Individual aspects are seen the adhikarana across padas, but now the since it is coming to a closure of the adhyaya itself, which is samanvaya adhyaya, this samanvaya is being questioned with more force now, revisiting some things, looking at different Upanishad sections. So this karanatva claim, which has been made as what Janmadhya Syataha, all that, so that will be that will be looked into further. The more we come to the closure, closure, the more it will be questioned. Itham adhikarana trayena pradhana se ashabdatva sadhane na brahmani vedanta nam samanvaya sadhita ha. The samanvaya has been established through what? Basically, all vedanta vakyas have samanvaya in brahma. That has been. Established through what sadhana? What sadhana? Pradhana se ashabdatva sadhani na because the sankhya is the main purva paksha who has claimed that all this karanatvam is pradhana s karanatvam, not brahma s karanatvam. Therefore, there is no samanvaya. But it has been established by refuting the only strong claim that karana is pradhana, not 
ईश्वरा और परमात्मा एंड देयर बाय रिफ्यूटिंग दैट साधना दी रिफ्यूटिंग दी प्रधान शब्द तो मीन प्रधान हैविंग शब्द प्रमाण एट ऑल लेट अलोन एज कारण बट हैविंग नो श्रुति प्रमाण वॉट वी हैव एस्टाब्लिश स्टैंड गुड एज टू ऑल वेदांत वाक्या हैव समन्वय इन शोइंग ब्रह्म एज दात्पर्य विषय हैव समन्वय इन ब्रह्म मीन्स तात्पर्य विषय इज ब्रह्म दिस वॉज शोन थ्रू थ्री अधिकरण दैट हैव गॉन बाय अधुना नाउ वॉट हैज बींग नॉट नाउ वॉट इज बींग डन तेषाव परस्पर विरुद्धार्थ प्रतिपादक अनिश्चयक अनिश्चायक देर इज परस्पर विरुद्ध विरोध इज देर विरुद्धार्थ प्रतिपादक इफ यू एनलाइज दीज क्लेम्स विच आर मेड देन देर इज परस्पर विरोध दे लैंड ऑन डिफरेंट थिंग्स एट डिफरेंट प्लेसेस देर फोर परस्पर विरुद्धार्थ प्रतिपादक अनिश्चायक अनुमान सिद्ध प्रधान पर उक्त समन्वय अस्तु सो व्हाट पूर्व पक्षी इज सेइंग दैट यू वेदांतीज आर क्लेम हैव एस्टैब्लिश यू आर सेइंग दैट वी हैव एस्टैब्लिश समन्वय इन वेदांत ऑफ वेदांत इन ब्रह्म ऑल वेदांत उपनिषद वाक्यास हैव समन्वय इन ब्रह्म दिस इज व्हाट यू हैव एस्टैब्लिश यू सिद्धांतीज क्लेम दैट बट व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट तेषामे वेदांतानां तेषामे वेदांतानां वाक्यानां उपनिषद वाक्यानां परस्पर विरुद्धार्थ प्रतिपादकत्वेन व्हेन यू लुक एट द इंडिविजुअल sentences of vedanta upanishads then they have paraspara virodha which is what i was mentioning as there is an apparent contradiction but the puro pakshi says there is paraspara viruddhartha pratipadakatva meaning the vakyas have pratipadakatva they have capacity to reveal something what do they reveal they reveal different ideas which are contradictory which stand in contradiction to each other therefore this nischaya samanvaya in brahma cannot be made by you so we are going to show you different uh, things where samanvaya will fall apart what was done so far is that samanvaya was shown to fall apart because the samanvaya was shown was tried to be shown in pradhana by samkhya now that pradhana claim may have fallen apart may may have sorry may have fallen apart but the claim of tatparya meaning the samanvaya into brahma will also fall apart this is the idea because there is virodha there are different ideas just like you said that there is no samanvaya in pradhana in some cases that we were trying to show similarly we will show you cases where there is no samanvaya in brahma they may not have samanvaya in pradhana or something particular but they don't have samanvaya in brahma also so this is the kind of approach that the puro pakshi is taking now meaning what you say is wrong what we tried to say has been attacked and shown as wrong by you but what you are trying to show is also wrong therefore finally what we'll do is that when you are wrong we'll bring it back to pradhana so what is is what is the idea is that you are wrong what you have shown pradhana is wrong but what you have shown is wrong and then we'll try to come back to pradhana anumana siddha pradhana para because when you are using what you are using you are using shruti shabda pramana this shabda pramana being contradictory you have to use anumana now and when you use anumana the samanvaya will take place in pradhana so pradhana para karana will be pradhana not brahma This is the claim made by the puro pakshi. So anumana siddha pradhana para. Why? Because shabda pramana being contradictory, you have to use anumana. There is no other option out. You cannot keep on repeating the same shruti again and again because they are contradictory to each other. So how will you resolve these differences? You have to use anumana. That is the pramana you have to use. And when you use that, you will clearly see that you will land in pradhana as karana. So. अनुमान सिद्ध प्रधान पर एव उक्त समन्वय अस्तु दि समन्वय विल टेक प्लेस देन इन लॉजिकली इनटू प्रधान इति आक्षेप संगत्या थ्रू दि आक्षेप संगति दिस इज दि आक्षेप डन बाय पूर्व पक्षी संख्या पूर्वम पंचत्व संख्या पूर्णम अन्येन ज्योतिषा वा 
इति विकल्पस्य अविरोधे अपी वी आर वी हैव शोन यू देयर इज विरोध इन काणव एंड बिटवीन काणव एंड मध्य माध्यम दिन शाखा ऑफ शुक्ल यजुर्वेद इन बृहद बृहद पाठ बट यू हैव समहाउ कंप्लीटेड द फाइव by saying that pranade pancha is the meaning in one there is anna where in another there is jyotish thereby through vikalpa avirodhe api through vikalpa there is an avirodha if you don't take vikalpa then there is definite virodha so vikalpasya avirodhe api prakrute karane vastuni vikalpa ayogat now we will show you a case where there is no vikalpa possible you cannot get away by showing that oh, here there was anna now there is jyotish now you don't have a Get away. We'll show you such cases. Vikalpa yoga, virode sati, apramanyam vakya nam. These vakyas that you are quoting, they'll not be pramana, meaning they'll not be swatav pramana. You have to use something else to reinterpret and then resolve the contradiction because Shruti cannot have apramanyato. This even Sankhya will say that oh, Shruti has to be reinterpreted. and the meaning is pradhana where the contradiction will be resolved that is his perspective iti pratyudharana lakshana avant avantara sangatya cha idamah so one sangati is what akshepa sangati the other is also another sangati which is what pratyudharana lakshana avantara sangati this is the secondary sangati primary sangati is akshepa sangati secondary sangati is what pratyudharana lakshana so pratyudharana lakshana means it is characterized by some kind of a contradictory example what contradiction contrary contrary example what is contrary contrary to what you have taken you have resolved virodha in panchatvam across two shakhas by showing a vikalpa optionally you can take jyotish here if you want to complete five because anna is missing so you can take option you, you take anna or you take jyotish but you can complete five and land on pancha janaha as meaning this pancha pra, prana deha not pancha prana prana deha pancha now you don't have such vikalpa therefore it is contrary to your way because there is no vikalpa now contrary to what you have the option you have taken this vikalpa does not exist in the mantra that i am going to quote says the sankhya puru she thereby karanatva adhikaranam sutra is karanatvena chakashadishu yatha vyapadishtokte he कारण चाकाशादिषु यथाव्यपदिष्टोक्ति पदच्छेद कारण आकाशादिषु यथाव्यपदिष्टोक्तेपदिष्टोक्ते हेतु हेतु पंचमी आकाशादिषु सप्तमी भोजन च अव्यय कारण तृतीय सो कारण आकाशादिषु इन आकाश इत्यादि देर इज कारण मेन्शन and thereby yatha vyapadishto ukti he ukti is a statement statement of what vishesha uh, vyapadishta means it is pointing out meaning teaching yatha vyapadishta as taught the statements as taught what are they pointing to in akasha ityadi karanatva is being shown because the akasha is karana somewhere somewhere this uh, other another thing is karana not only paramatma different things are karana in different upanishads stated in different upanishads now this has been seen in one way or the other but not some together and seen as karana from across upanishads so now that is the focus here as to your karanatva claim of brahma जगत कारण बीइंग ब्रह्म दैट इज गोइंग टू फॉल अपार्ट सेज दि पूर्व पक्षी सो आकाशादिषु कारण व्यपदेश इज देर देर इज अ टीचिंग ऑफ कारण इन आकाश आल्सो बट देन व्हाट इज द सिद्धांति सेइंग दिस कारण कारण आकाशु यथा व्यपदिष्टोक्ते हे मीनिंग देर इज नो इश्यू आई बिकॉज Uh, the pura pakshi is saying that different things are shown as karana and then he'll say that pradhana is the karana that is his focus this is a siddhanti sutra siddhanti saying is that 
आकाशादिशु कारण दिस सप्तमी इज अ लिटिल कंफ्यूजिंग हियर सो यू कैन से लेट मी थिंक द सप्तमी इज वेरी क्लियर इट इज नॉट गिवन इंडिविजुअली बट देन सी सप्तमी कैन बी कंफ्यूजिंग एज कारण इन आकादिशु आकाशादिशु एंड देन दैट विल बिकम पूर्व पक्षा दैट आकाश इत्यादि आर टॉट इन आकाश कारण इज मेन बट देन दिस सप्तमी आई लुक अप इफ देर इज एनी थिंग एडिशनल इन दिस सप्तमी बट फॉर नाउ जस्ट गिव मी अ मोमेंट Saptami is a little misleading. So just uh, look at uh, the bhasha. Just give me a moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, saptami was a uh, little misleading because I took it as adhikarna. It's a vishaya. Vishaya saptami will work. So, so you can say. आकाशादिषु विषयु कारण मीनिंग वॉट आकाशादिषु कार्यु विषयु आकाशादिषु विषयु मीन कार्यु किम कारण सो कारण यथा व्यपदिष्टोक्ते अंटु ईश्वर दिल भी समन्वय इंटू परमात्मा दिल भी समन्वय बिकॉज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू विषय सप्तम इज हियर विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू With respect to, with reference to Akashadi, Akashadi meaning in Taitri you will have what? Tasmadvaya, Tasmad, Atmana, Akasha Sambhuta, Akasha Dvayu Ityadi. So Akasha Ityadi, with respect to Akasha Ityadi as Karyas, what is the Karana? That Karanatva is Yathavya Padishta Ukti. There is Yathavya Padishta Ukti means as taught in the Shastra because if you look at as taught in the Shastra, It is what ukte he because of ukti he because of the statement yatha vyapadishta yatha vyapadishtam means what yatha as taught in the shruti kutra shruti shu for us it all of it is in the shruti we don't have independent logic as pramana when you it comes to interpretation of upanishad so yatha vyapadish yatha vyapadishtam यथा व्यपदिष्टा उक्ति ही दैट उक्ति इफ यू टेक इन सामान अधिकरण और उसे उक्ते है ऑफ व्हाट यथा व्यपदिष्ट व्यपदिष्टा नाम वाक्या नाम उक्ति ही अस्थि एंड ड्यू टू सच स्टेटमेंट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ व्हाट कारणत्व कारणत्व है ना व्हाटेवर स्टेटमेंट इज़ देर एस कारण है व्हाटेवर हैज बीन शोन इज सर्वेशु श्रुतिशु यथा व्यपदिष्टोक्ते हैं कस्य ब्रह्मणा ये वह कारण त्वेन केशाम का कारण इफ यू से दिन शष्टी इज अपेक्षा अपेक्षित आदेश बट सप्तमी इज गिवन सो देर फिर से केशु विशेषु कारण त्वम ब्रह्मणा कारण त्वम केशु विशेषु उक्ता और यथा और व्यपदिष्टा यथा व्यपदिष्टम ब्रह्मणः कारणत्वम् कारणत्वेन ब्रह्मणः कारणत्वेन यथा व्यपदिष्ट उक्ते हे मीनिंग यथा व्यपदिष्ट उक्ति कुत्र अस्ति श्रुतिशु अस्ति नाउ दिस कारणत्व ब्रह्म कारणत्व व्हाट आकाशादिशु केशु विशेषु आकाशादिशु विशेषु ब्रह्मणः कारणत्वेन यथा व्यपदिष्ट उक्ते हे Due to the statement, so what is the sutra artha? Due to the ukti hi statement of vyatha vyapadishta as taught in shruti vedanti shu vakya shu shruti shu. So that that shruti is what that is adhikarana adhikarana saptami. If you add kutra shruti shu, that is adhikarana saptami. Then kas kasya karanatvam brahmana karanatvam. So brahmana karanatvi na vyatha vyapadishta ukti hi due to the ukti hi statement. As taught, yatha vyapadishta in Vedanta, in Shruti, of Brahma, as Karana, with respect to what? So in that Saptami Akamsha, you can supply Akashadishu. Akashadishu, 
मीनिंग दी आकाशादिषु इज वॉट इट इज ऑल प्रपंच प्रपंच वस्तुषु सो आकाशादी प्रपंच वस्तु विचार कार्यु आकाशादी प्रपंच कार्यु कारण कस्य व्यपदिष्ट 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 उक्ति अदरवाइज व्यपदिष्ट उक्ति ब्रह्मण एव कारण व्यपदिष्ट उक्ति होती देर फोर दैट बिकम्स दी हेतु फॉर समन्वय इन ब्रह्म सो आई स्टार्टेड दिस सूत्र आल कंप्लीटेड आई डोंट टू रीविजिट दिस सप्तमी आई होप इट इज क्लियर आई होप आई डेंट एड टू एनी कन्फ्यूजन अत्र पूर्वोत्तर पक्ष समन्वय असिद्धि तत्सिद्धि फलवेद सेम एज अर्यर समन्वय असिद्धि एज पर पूर्व पक्षी इन ब्रह्म एंड तत्सिद्धि मीन समन्वय सिद्धि इन ब्रह्म ऑफ ऑल वेदांत वाक्या एज पर सिद्धांत अत्र जगत कारण वाक्या ब्रह्मणी मान न वाइति विषय दिस जगत कारण वाक्या वाक्या विच टॉक अबाउट जगत कारण इत्यादि ऑफ ब्रह्म ब्रह्मणी मान न वाइति विषय वेन दे आर सीन टू बी प्रमाण और नॉट सिद्धांति से दे आर नॉट रियल सिद्धांति से दे आर प्रमाण पूर्व पक्षी से दे आर नॉट प्रमाण वाई बिकॉज देर इज परस्पर विरोध तेषा परस्पर विरोध दर्शना न मानम पूर्व पक्ष सो पूर्व पक्षी इज सेंग दैट आकाश इज कारण एल स्वेर प्राण कैन बी सीन एज कारण एल स्वेर सो मेनी थिंग्स आर देर सो दिस कारण इन ब्रह्म हेज नो प्राण्य बिकॉज देर आर परस्पर विरोध स्टेटमेंट्स नाउ दैट विरोध इज नॉट देर इन आकाश आदिषु सो आई गॉट मिस्लेड बाय दिस सप्तमी बिकॉज आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट द पूर्व पक्ष पर्स्पेक्टिव बट सिद्धांति से आकाश आदिषु विशेष कारण शोर इन ब्रह्म सो आकाश प्राण इज नॉट कारण बट आकाश प्राण कारण इज शोन इन ब्रह्म देर फोर देर इज समन्वय इन ब्रह्म सो मान मीन प्रमाण मानम वा न वा प्रमाण वा न वा न प्रमाण से पूर्व पक्षी सिद्धांति से कारण वाक्या आर प्रमाण सिद्धांत तो च शब्द शंका निरासा दिस च शब्द इज टू से सच डाउट शुड नॉट बी एंटरटेन वाय देर इज डेफिनेट समन्वय इन ब्रह्म ऑफ ऑल वेदांत वाक्य ब्रह्मण कारण विरोध नास्ती देर इज नो कारण विरोध बाय कोटिंग डिफरेंट कारण बिकॉज फॉर ऑल द मूल कारण इज ब्रह्म कुत आकाशादिषु यथा व्यपदिष्ट उक्ति यथा भूत ईश्वर यथा व्यपदिष्ट मीन एज टॉट एज टॉट मीन वॉट वॉट इज टॉट इज ब्रह्म सो ईश्वर यथा भूत ईश्वर कारण व्यपदिष्ट सो दि समस इज स्प्लीट इन वेरी डिफरेंट वे फॉर एक्सप्लेनेशन इट इज नॉट दि इट इज नॉट दि विग्रह वाक्य बिकॉज यथा व्यपदिष्ट उक्ति सो यथा व्यपदिष्ट इफ यू टेक एज दि हियर सॉरी यथा व्यप यथा व्यपदिष्ट उक्ति सो देर इज अ टाइप ऑफ हियर नॉट यथा व्यपद व्यपदिष्ट दिस इकार इज मिसिंग हियर सो देर इज अ टाइप ऑफ हियर सो यथा व्यपदिष्ट उक्ति दैट इज अथा विथ यथा इट विल बी एन अव्यय भाव सामस सो दिस यथा भूत ईश्वर सो सम कैंड ऑफ अ मध्यम पद लोप इज शोन फॉर एक्सप्लेनेशन बट इट इज नॉट मध्यम पद लोप भगवान भाष्य कर सेंग दैट यथा व्यपदिष्ट एज टॉट वॉट इज टॉट इज यथा भूत ईश्वर इज टॉट द वे दश्वर इज दैट वे इट इज टॉट एंड द टीचिंग इज द एक्सप्लेनेशन देर ऑफ यथा व्यपदिष्ट मीन एज टॉट बट दि समस विग्रह वाक्य इज नॉट यथा भूत ईश्वर बट द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द एंटायर स्टेटमेंट दिस कारण इनक्लूडेड is shown in the vritti there so what the vritti is showing uh, not bhashya vritti is showing yatha bhute ishwarah karanatvena vyapadishtah so yatha vyapadishtah means what as taught in keeping with so vyapadishtam anatikramya is yatha vyapadishtam that is the vigraha vakya of yatha vyapadishtam or yatha vyapadishtah because it is ukti so karanatvena vyapadishtah what is taught सो इफ से व्यपदिष्ट व्यपदिष्ट पुलिंग इज टेकन सो नॉट इन सामान विथ उक्ति सो दे यथा व्यपदिष्ठा नाम उक्ति स्टेटमेंट ऑफ टीचिंग्स इन कीपिंग विथ दि श्रुति दैट इज द मीनिंग देर ऑफ यथा व्यपदिष्ट उक्ति एंड पंचमी इज हेतु देर यथा व्यपदिष्ट उक्ति सो व्यपदिष्ट अनतिक्रम्य इज यथा व्यपदिष्ट और बिकॉज हियर व्यपदिष्ट इज शोन इन पुलिंग बट यथा व्यपदिष्ट विल बी न्यूटर बिकॉज इट इज अव्यय भाव समस इट विल टेक न्यूटर 
anyway that is an aside for samasa question because that comes to the mind if you studied vyakarana such question will come to the mind yatha bhuta ishvara as taught in this what is yatha vyapadishta what is taught as karana karanatvena who is taught parameshwara is taught parabrahma is taught so yatha bhuta ishvara and that which yatha bhuta ishvara ishvara who is vivarta karana who has as though become the prapancha that is yatha bhuta ishvara as taught in the shruti not ishvara of any uh, bhakta or someone who is sitting separate in vaikuntha or kailasha not that ishvara ishvara yatha bhuta meaning as he is sachidananda parabrahma ishvara who manifests in any which way for the bhakta but he is not jagat karana for the bhakta he is separate jagat karana where the jiva is also included as a part of jagat and therefore aikya is what the yatha bhuta ishvara is seen in the shruti as that is not the bhakta's perspective unfortunately so uh, advaita bhakta yes but not an non advaita bhakta advaita bhakta does not have that perspective therefore yatha bhuta ishvara means in shruti as as ishvara is revealed karanatvena yapadishta ekasmin vedanta vakye tatha bhutasya eva aparasmin vakye api ukte he abhidana dichartah because there is a mention of the same kind of ishvara who is revealed in one shruti as karana of jagat in another shruti also so if at all you see akasha shabda separately prana shabda separately ityadi then you will see that this akasha and prana we have shown in the earlier adhikaranas that akasha means brahma prana means brahma they don't have their mukhya artha their meaning is brahma why because you look at the context then you will see that this the meaning of jiva prana akasha as literally bhuta akasha pancha prana or individualized jiva they will not work so you will have to take the meaning as parmatma therefore across shrutis if you see contradiction there is no such contradiction it is only apparent to you if you see ishvara as yatha bhuta ishvara then the same ishvara takes different words and then he alone becomes the karana for akashadi prapancha this is the sutra vritti we'll look at the next sutra in the next patha in the same adhikaran amnayante samsita maadi madhyanta varjita maananda gharam apurna atme jyoti rupasme sat namaste dhanyavada namaste